If you were deemed ineligible by the state for unemployment, you're not alone. News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us now. And Lauren, what are your options if you're denied? Mary, so at that point, you can either apply for federal assistance or you can appeal the process if you believe the decision was just wrong. Either way, the timeline for when a check will go out for those applications are not clear. Every day, our newsroom is sent emails like this. I was one of the many who were deemed ineligible for benefits. I work in a restaurant and have worked there for the past 19 months full time. I don't know why I was denied, never given a reason. I'm confused. The frustration fell in every one we receive. When will this stop? We get two steps ahead and fall back to square one. Two weeks ago, Governor Ron DeSantis appointed Jonathan Satter to oversee the unemployment website. Last night, he participated in a Facebook Live answering some of the most commonly asked questions. How long, if I were to file today, what's a realistic amount of time that it takes if the system is working, not the way it is now? I have been told that that us relying on third parties to do these different stages, 21 days. Satter did go on to say he realizes that 21 days to process an appeal is not ideal. Later on in the video, Satter was asked what the appeals process looks like for a person deemed ineligible. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've been well, here two weeks. My brain is about to explode. But, understood. but I, there is, a, I, I think, I believe a portion of our website has a... Has a uh, uh, an explanation of that process. There is a guide on the Department of Economic Opportunity that walks through the appeals process. Forewarning, the guide is 106 pages long. How to file an appeal is on page 91 and is 11 pages long. Let's move on to the next option, which for W-2 workers is to file for the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program, which is a long way of saying federal assistance. But that application is not available right now. We need to build some of these systems out to meet the federal standards because these are federal dollars. We're hopeful that we'll have additional guidance for everybody in the next five to seven days. Again, that is just to apply for the assistance. To be fair, the unemployment website was messed up before Satter was appointed a few weeks ago. He's just the current person person charged with tackling the issue. I do want to point out, if you are deemed ineligible by the state and file a 1099 tax form, such as contractors or gig workers, you're going to want to file for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. That application should be available on the Connect website as long as you applied after April 5th. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.